right now. I'm just checking my um, Same with uh, Verve. When I first signed up with Verve, I was getting dozens, 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 and dozens of signups. Now it's you know a few less a month. But again, but again I, mostly I mostly do pay per. I normally do pay per like just for the ad spot. You know, X amount of dollars just do the shout outs. And then I yeah. don't really worry about. You well, know, on, on top of asking them for affiliate information, which I'd appreciate if you do do that, um, yeah. I would like you to look at their privacy policy because what we were talking about regarding selling information is that yeah, they explicitly yeah. say that they can sell your comments and their uh, therapist, their, their messages back to you. Yeah, if it turns um, out that they did something like that, then I obviously would no longer recommend it. But the shit that I have said to my therapist over there, holy fuck, I don't want anybody finding that out. Well, the I, I, was under the, I was under the presumption that it was safe. Yeah, no, it's um. they say explicitly that your questions and the answers to those questions uh, are a part of what they can sell to people in the privacy policy. Okay, um, I signed up for BetterHelp on June 7th. So I've been using them since about June 7th. Okay. Um, and, and our fear is is that Facebook actually put out a article to its investors and advertisers not too long ago, basically saying that young adults with depression have uh, low mood swings where they're particularly vulnerable to specific types of aggressive marketing. And we think right. that this is actually some kind of data feed for machine learning to pick up on language perhaps used in Facebook Messenger I mean, that indicates well, that somebody's particularly depressed. I mean, that's not particularly surprising to me. You realize that's what YouTube is, right? Well, this like you realize right now you're feeding the AI machine right now. The YouTube is exclusively 100% about feeding AI. Every word I'm saying on the stream right now, every image that you're uploading into the stream, every it's, it's being converted over to text. That text is being fed into the AI machine. The algorithm, algorithm learning is the only reason Alphabet gives a flying fuck about YouTube. You realize you're doing that right now. Every video you upload, every word you say on stream, every picture you upload, every Gmail you send, that's the only thing Alphabet gives a flying fuck about is AI. You really Can I ask, right? giving you this, uh, that kind of idea regarding YouTube? Because AI is the future. It's obvious. It's obvious. Why, why else would they run a, a, a money-losing website? What possible other reason? Well, they, I mean, what do you, they, think, what do you think Facebook is about? I mean, Amazon loses money, too, off Amazon.com. Yeah, the AWS gets in the flow. YouTube yeah. is the number two website right. in the world right now. Even though Facebook, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, AI is the fucking future. It's it's Amazon versus fucking Google versus fucking Apple, and they are all farming your data. And versus fucking Facebook, and they're all farming your data, and they're all using it to feed AI machines. And if you think for a fucking second that they're not doing that, then I think you're naive. Now, are you aware that uh, there's there's provisions within this this terms of service that they can actually sell the the contents of your therapy sessions? Absolutely not. And I I didn't read my EULA honestly. So that, that's what I'm saying. If they sold my shit, it would fucking ruin me. The shit that I said to this therapist, I don't want to fucking talk about that shit. It would. It would I don't show up on my Kiwi farms. Did you yeah, say? You to, did you tell them not to share it because you have to legit? Tell them that you don't want it shared. Otherwise, yeah, it's already been, is, yeah, yeah. The otherwise, it's already been shared. Yeah. Now that it's already been shared, then I'm fucked. But hopefully, it's just going to be fed into a giant AI machine, like Probably. every word I'm currently saying right now. Uh, the other everything, thing is we're, everything we're, we're saying right now is currently being fed into the exact same fucking machine. So I don't. You know, so I don't worry about it that much. Why I call this a pyramid scheme, and, and Josh alluded to it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Who the fuck is saying pyramid scheme? Can because, you explain? okay, so this is how it works. This company. If you look at the CEO, he's made multiple companies that do the same thing. Uh, right. Either they're health companies. Well, that's that, not a oh pyramid. My, no, 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 hold on. Health companies, beauty companies, whatever. But what they do is they get YouTubers and I guess, quote unquote, influencers to shill this product. They give you a fee. As you said, you got 200. Some people got 100 per, per person. And actually, if you look at your link, if you look deeper into your link, you link to Philly D, your affiliate link. So I think he gets a cut from you. As well, so whoever signed up for you, I don't think that's it. the case. We have a screen, like, we have a screenshot of of your actual uh, well, URL, and it links to his. So if we go to betterhelp.com. Yeah, it has the rogue buggy, rocket tag right there in there, which is his company, his YouTube company. Um, and the way it works is they get you guys to sign up, then you get your subscribers to sign but up. See, and that would they be don't, that would be a, that would be illogical because I'm not going through Philip DeFranco. I'm going through Seismic, and why would Seismic give them a percentage? Why would they give? The you have to ask why it makes sense. Or help. I, I think, why they're working that. Why wouldn't they want to keep all the money they can? That doesn't. Make I think two hundred dollars is the top, uh, yeah. the top referral level because that's what Andy Worski yeah. was promised. But yeah, you only got and I, and I had I had three or I had two different people. I was about to say three, but I think it was only two. But I had an agent that works with another YouTuber reach out to me, and then I had Seismic reach out to me, and I just went through Seismic because they already handle my other stuff. 
So I don't, you know, I don't know who would have been Se- kicked Seismic's a third there. party, so they might have gone through Philly D to better help. And that's why yeah, exactly. they're getting I, That wouldn't make sense. Like, why they don't work for DeFranco. That's not one of his companies. But, but he I might mean, have contacted them to get other people. I mean, maybe. Yeah, that's, that's, by the way, here, here's the affiliate I link, uh, and I can follow it. Oh wait, that's the wrong. That's the wrong link. Yeah, can I uh, can I see this? So I got a kill hold stream. On, let, let me let me copy. You yeah, you can, you can see it. Give me a sec. Yeah. Um. No, there's that's the Rogue Rocket website. If you paste in your affiliate link, um, Ralph, has, you're always so mean to me, and I understand why you're always so mean to me. Thank you for being so kind, and I I really has, appreciate you. It has the redirect. Well, I mean, look, there's the Rogue Rocket. I don't know if you can see that. Can can that is that showing on the screen? Hold on. Uh, I don't know what Rogue Rocket is. So you know for a fact, like you can prove that's DeFranco's company? Yes. Yes. Now if you see, hold on. Let me uh So if I go to roguerocket.com, yeah, there's see DeFranco. Right there, okay, right gotcha. there up top. I got it highlighted now. You should be able to see it on screen. That's Rogue Rocket right there in the uh in the URL tab. So yep, I, mean, people, I do see just, it. And so that's that's if you go for if that's what you're gonna do. Here, here's the hold on, let me let me copy. But you get this. that if you go to betterhelp.com slash boogie. Yes. Interesting. Yes, you do. Well, I guess DeFranco's been, I guess I've made DeFranco literally dozens of dollars at this point. <laughs> yeah, there's the link. Probably, I mean, you guys can check it if you yep, want. Yep, I yeah. see it right there. Holy shit. Affiliate plus UTM. So campaign. you're saying you didn't know anything about this? Like, this is just. No, man. I don't fucking ask questions like this, dude. Like, I, 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 I the so whole been- reason I, the whole reason I work with a brand manager is so I don't have to ask questions like this. He's like, here's the deal, here's the product. I try the product. If I like it, I do the deal. That's all so I wait, think about. Wait, that. Boogie, you, you don't you don't ask questions like this, but I mean you're you're promoting a service for people that are depressed or have suicidal ideation. You don't right, think- but I used but right, I used it for six weeks before I recommended well, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But I mean that that's the clever marketing technique that these people use. We get the influencer to say they use it, and then any criticism brought against the the application of the service is deflected away because I used it personally. But I mean, oh, this, is Medi- Med- this is Megator, right? Metacore? Well, how do you pronounce your name? Uh, me- mediocre. <laughs> uh, but oh, well, no, but hey, I mean, I like your videos, man. I was, I was, I flipped the fuck out when you got banned from like Twitter. And did you ever get Twitter back? Uh, nope, nope. It's lost forever. But you, I, I've but got you the memory. From, you, but you got YouTube back, right? Uh, yeah, I'm, well, I'm using Hal's channel right now. He's a great guy. Okay. He's a, he's a okay. good guy. Hey, well, I'm glad to see you back. I'm glad to see you back on YouTube. Yeah. But a lot I mean, of people, I, I think a lot of people think like, I hate you guys or something like that. Or no, I disagree with you guys a lot, but there's no fucking hating involved. And you guys are allowed to have whatever opinions you like. And I watch you guys for the same reason. I used to watch Lacey green back in her SJW days. I don't always agree with what you have to say. But, but do I'm not just saying, I'm just Lacey saying. Green. Shit, I, okay, I'm going to make it worse. I'm going to compare you to Anita Sarkeesian. I would watch him. Oh, that, that, that's fantastic. I don't know if you agree with We're getting way off track. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I just okay, anyway, know. sorry. I'm sorry. I just fangirled a little bit. I apologize. Go ahead. So, I mean, here's the thing I find weird. And maybe maybe that you're completely unaware of this. But if, yeah. from what I'm seeing, this is it's got an eerie resemblance to something that's already happened once. I mean, you, you know, Josh has I talked about it. You talked about it a little bit with the AI stuff. Them taking yeah. information from people and then feeding it into uh, either an AI algorithm or some kind of a, a learning program or something like that, right. or using right. that for marketing purposes or something else offsite. I've already seen one group of YouTubers and influencers that had middling numbers to kind of high numbers, uh, which were the skeptics. You had uh, people with hundreds of thousands of subs working for a company called Candid, which directed all these people to use an app, and they were told it was you know free anonymous online speech. And then it turns out they're they're training an AI bot, and who's who's you know the company that ends up buying it? Well, it's it's Amazon, it's Twitch, and now look at the state of Twitch. So now you've got this this service, this site that's saying, hey, if you're depressed, hey, if you're screwed up, hey, if you're suicidal, hey, if things are really dark, come use our website. And then you find out that oh, you know, maybe not everybody's uh, you know licensed like they should be, or maybe we can sell your information to whoever we want. I mean. Imagine how crushing that is. If I'm a fan of Phil oh, yeah. Franco or you, no, trust me. Imagine how fucking crushing it is to me right now when it's my reputation on the line. Imagine how crushing it is to me when I've been talking about depression and anxiety my entire life, talking about therapy my entire life. And if this turns out to end up being miserable, this shit's going to ruin. I'm not ruining me. I don't. I'll be fine. Like it's not going to ruin my YouTube channel. Shit, the shit I've gone through this last year to ruin it. My channel is always going to be around. But I'm not going to be able to fucking sleep at night, dude. If I've if I've misled my fucking audience. I'm just going to fucking ruin me. 
Well, well, yeah, but I mean, think, I think, think about the kid. Think about the kid that uses a service and then finds out, let's say, a month from now or two months from now, that they're really screwed up shit in their life. You know, the abuse or the depression or the suicidal ideation got sold to somebody that's training a fucking AI bot, or that these these personal conversations are just floating out there. And the other really weird thing is, I. I why did none of the influencers or the people that are involved in this look at the percentages and say, okay, something is clearly wrong here. Uh, Josh had mentioned that most people went for the two month package. That was the one that seemed to be the most attractive that balances out to about $350 up front. So sure. if I pay $350 for a service, but then the person that referred me is getting $200, that means the person giving the referrals, getting the majority of the money, which obviously means the service itself is not what's generating profit right. for the company. Right. But I, Okay, but I mean, at back in the day when I was selling, think about it. They signed up for sixty dollars a week, right? I think that's what they said when I signed up. So sixty dollars a week, um, and so that's two hundred forty dollars a month. So imagine I get paid two hundred dollars. They make a forty dollar profit in the first month. In a two month package, they double the amount of money. So they paid me two hundred dollars, so they made four hundred and eighty dollars. What, so what was the price of the two month? I thought you said it was like three fifty, wasn't it? It was sixty dollars a week. Sixty eight, I think. It, it scales at the yeah. most. If you buy a well, single week, you pay like eighty dollars a week. If you buy an entire year, it's thirty five dollars per week. Okay. Well, I am on a monthly bill, and let me look up and tell you exactly what I'm getting monthly billed. Here's here's the thing, guys. Like, I'm more than glad to help you build a case here. If there's a case to be built, I want to help you fucking build it. I got no problem with that. And if it means my fucking reputation on the line, if it means I get tore the fuck up because I sold this thing, then I don't give a shit because if, if it's a bad company, I want the bad well, company. Well, no, this, 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 sounds you know like, this sounds like DeFranco is fucking you, to be honest, with the, the weird his uh, uh, URL attached to your referral link. It's like a Ponzi scheme, right? Like he's getting the biggest pie mm -hmm. on everybody. Am I am I off on that? Am I the only one looking at this? Like, okay, that's a little weird. Why would he, con why oh, would he be related right. to these referral links? I had I had literally no clue about any of that stuff, so I that's a big surprise to me. Uh, fuck, I don't we, know how to. Find we even it. had we even had uh, like Shane Dawson today came out and said he was going to look into it. You know, I I don't see any evidence that he well, looked yeah, into Shane, it. Shane Dawson, but it really seems like campaign on it, right? But isn't October tenth? That's World Mental Health Day. So his big series comes out two weeks before World Mental Health Day, advertising better help. What bigger impact okay. do you have for your service? Than having that message most viewed by everybody. Yeah. So here, right when the hashtag comes up, yeah, I don't so know here. how much of this. I don't know how much of this I need to blur out. Um, because I, I'm going to blur out my transaction ID. That seems correct. So hold on, I'm going to show you exactly. I'm going to show you my bill. Or, I mean, I guess I don't have to. Sh if I don't have to show you my bill, if you trust me, it's two hundred sixty dollars a month. It's yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. Month. So here, here is how it tears up. Uh, unlimited eighty dollars a week if you pay, if you pay per week. Sixty five per week if you pay monthly. So that's. To, uh, 260 uh, unlimited 45 per week if you pay every three months and unlimited 35 dollars a week if you pay every year so they basically charge you up front so if you do the cheapest one they charge you a thousand uh 820 yeah. and a lot of people were unclear on this which is why a lot of negative reviews specifically mentioned the billing because they're you know starving college students who click the 45 dollar per week option and then they get billed yeah, for sorry. an inconceivable amount of money to them Hey, yeah. I'm really sorry to do this, by the, by the way, real quick. Fire Resistant Podcast, thanks for the $100 donation. I really appreciate it. You're the realtor. I'm out in Dallas. It was a pleasure talking to you with you. I'm really sorry that I didn't get to say thank you, my friend. I really appreciate it. That's one of the biggest donations I've ever gotten. So thank you so much. Um, that said, the, so, um, I, so you guys remember, I used to like I used to sell um, affiliation for, uh, for porn sites, right? I would get paid $150 for a free trial sign-up. Back yeah, but day. Boogie, I mean, the difference is... Right, that's because... Say, it's yeah, because but the difference people, is they're, they're, they're jacking off. They're getting the service they're paying for. This <laughs> right, but I'm saying, but I'm really saying that people, I know, but I'm just saying that's what I thought I was dealing with. I thought they're going to rebuild. So then the first month, they pay me 200 Then they bill that guy 260 They've made six hours profit. That guy bills a second month. Now that's another 260 They doubled their money. So that's what I thought. I thought it was. No, it's something yeah, really is weird. Yeah, no, I, I get you. But something's really weird with how the, the economics of this scale and the amount of a cut that the influencer is getting. Like I, it, the, the affiliate amount is just really kind of strikes me as odd. And the, the lack of data protection, real that I, is that's that even legal? Weird. Yeah, right. I mean, that's, no, that's really so you would think the HIPAA would not no, allow that. No, but they're not doctors. 
they're, that's they, how they're trying to get exactly. around it is by they're claiming that they're not well, medical professionals. Right. Well, the woman, saying, I, the woman I talked to has an MSW, which that's not a doctor. Uh, She's not right. a doctor. It's a master of it's a master of social work. What is it's a master's degree? Yeah, so none, none, of doctors. Doctors. Doctor. none of them are doctors. None of them. None of them. None of them are doctors. Not a, a, a but most relationship with you. Right, but yes. only psychiatrists are doctors. Psychologists are not. Exactly. You can get so, a degree in psychology. I've, I've only ever worked with one psychiatrist in my whole life, and I've had wonderful therapy in my life. Right. So basically, the chick that they have that chills out, Katie Morton, she was on a stream with, I guess his name was something, Nash. Uh, I forget his first name. Jason Nash, I think is his name. And he called her a doctor, and she refuted it immediately. She was, no, 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 I'm not a doctor. You can't say doctor. Because if she was a doctor, she couldn't tell anybody of the stuff you talked about. Now that she's not a doctor, and none of these people are doctors, they can sell Everything you've ever said to them, it's not confidential at all. And a lot, only uh, the actual list of the colleagues, all the people that are participating as therapists on the site. At the very bottom, there's a link to a Tele Mental Health Institute, which offers a uh, online therapist training program starting at four hundred dollars. So uh, tell, I don't know. Tell him about the psychics. I think he needs to hear about the psychics. That's related to the. Oh, God. Andy Worski's uh, the marketer that contacted him is a part of creatorhealth.org, which is a very shady company that has no public information. And by pure coincidence, we managed to figure out that creatorhealth.org was owned by uh, influencerlogic.com. And uh, J Joel Robinson, who's the CEO uh, of that, and he has specific ties to the uh, information or the infosec of, of military groups. So it's all very strange and shady up there, but they also have ties to other kind of telehealth uh, organizations, in particular one called freeonlinetherapy.com offers uh, online psychic readings as well. I mean, so, I, 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 can I can imagine, I, like I said, I, I mean, I, I'm, looking, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, your guys' videos breaking this down, but that said, and I've obviously said I will, will not be advertising these guys until I know for sure. That said, that's fucking fascinating. Um, I imagine whoever's whoever's angel investing this, they probably just don't personally give a shit. They just want to make money. It's a, so a company called Teladoc. Teladoc owns uh, BetterHelp. And Teladoc was an angel invested company from the mid 2000s that uh, basically lets you do phone doctor appointments to show problems without coming into the office. And they're currently worth about Two hundred and thirty-three million dollars, and this was their branching out. I mean, if they have good intentions, I'm all for it. It doesn't sound like they've achieved those good intentions, but I will tell you that I had really good results. I mean, well, I, just just as a, as a personal aside, uh, you can contact this woman and continue your therapy if something were to happen to better help. Just yeah, so, yeah, I, I can write her right now. I can, I can message her right now. I'm still paying for the service, so yeah, I can talk to her all I, I guess the curious no, part that I mean, always email wondered, her outside of it. The part that I have yeah, I, is, I is how, know, how do you not know how many affiliates that you sold? So you said ten, you rounded up to ten, but and now you can't get to the panel. Like how you know how did you get? Well, that I don't have a panel. Place? I go through Seismic, so I just I get a check about two months afterwards, and my check. Hold on, I'm gonna go grab a check real quick, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Hold on, I'll be right back. Who's, who's Seismic? I think it's, it's, it's a company, a management company, agency. Yeah, but he had a number in the first place. I guess is what my point is. So you had some numbers, and now you don't have the number. I don't know. It just seems a little. It's strange to me that that I mean he works for himself, but this, uh, these other people cut checks for him. Yo, yo, dude, yo, he's being fucking robbed, dude. Oh, you, all, totally you, and you, you all get robbed. Okay. This this happens to every one of you guys. You get these fucking managers and agents that just bend you over and have well, their way with you guys. You know stopped, what these yeah, managers well, and agents I, I, are, right? If I stopped. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, by the way, I'm, hey, I'm, I'm back. I'm back. So I, I, I just realized I shouldn't show this on the stream. But um, so basically I get a check and then the check breaks down. And this is the July check and the July check shows up in showed up in September. So it's about two months back. And this is, I guess, July is the first month that I ran better help in the yep, in the the third week of yeah, the third week of of that month, about six weeks after I started the service. So um it just breaks down. Here's how much I made from NordVPN, here's how much I made from classes, here's how much I made from Daily Harvest, uh, here's how much I made from Better Help. And there it shows three signups uh from 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 Better Help for that month. So I've right. I ran another one in August, and I ran another one in September. 
and maybe one other one. I might, I guess I know I didn't run anything in October yet. Um, so let's say I average three per three per that'd be three, six, nine. And that's what I think. Did, I, you that's do, how I got uh, did you do a dedicated video to this or was it just an advert that was, in no, no, it's, it's just, time. it's just a 60 second shout out towards the end. I don't know. 60 I, seconds. I, no, wait, no, hold on, still, hold on. Though, still. Hold on. Like, no, I, I think, think my numbers still are way smaller than yours. And I've, yeah. I've gotten more than you did in I mean, 2017 two, though. Two, I mean, I will tell you, no, I got, no, a, but like, I got a hundred signups in the same month for, Nord VPN. I think it's just it's depression. Like Nord VPN oh, is a service a lot of people need. Only a handful of people need depression services and mental health. You know what I'm saying? So By the way, Boogie, the Boogie, but, your fans are trying to flag out our stream, man. You should you should probably denounce. Oh, that. that's fucked up, guys. Don't fucking do that shit. Don't mm -hmm. fucking flag. I, you guys know I encourage criticism of me. You guys fucking know that. I want people to make their videos. I want. I I wasn't even mad about Lucy Fox, guys. You fucking know this shit, okay? Let people well, you, say whatever the fuck they want to say about me, guys. I want to ask you, how much were you paid per sign up? Per 200. Referral? 200. Wait, I were you actually right paid 200? I told you. I told yeah, you. Right here. Yeah, they offered me 200. I, Josh, I saw the emails in the morning. I, I was playing it live on, on my live show, mm -hmm. and they offered me 200 bucks. Right. And then when I was paid, it was just 100 bucks. Well, I, I, can, I can show you the check right here. I got three sign ups. This is 200 bucks. So, God, is everybody getting this? robbed? Do you think? Like, is this company <laughs> robbing each side? <laughs> they run their hustle? Well, well, no, I'm saying, I'm saying, I, I, I'm saying that's why I like the guys. That's why I like my brand manager over at Seismic. He gives me the best fucking deal every single fucking time. He is such, he's so good at his job. I love everything he does. Well, it doesn't stuff. sound so good. Look at what's <laughs> happening right now, Bookie. What are you talking about? Well, I, no, but I understand that. But this, this, if, if he mean? did hear me great. wrong here, number one, he didn't know any better. And yeah, number but look two, at this shitstorm. This it's is his the, job to know I better. What do you mean? Three and a half. But I'm saying I've worked with him for three and a half years. This is the first time anything like this has happened. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, it's his job. Oh. You're getting involved by the seismic. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to any Bitcoin stuff from yeah. Spectre.ai. No, I don't know anything about that. Yeah, go ahead. Because they're connected with. Oh uh, yeah, company. no, no. I, I'm just curious. It, it it really feels like, and I mean, uh, it all the information is still coming out, but it really feels like. Not only are the people getting referred there and using it are, are getting hustled for their data and other stuff, but it feels like it almost feels like they're lying or false reporting the amount of affiliate signups per uh, individuals, right? I, I mean, it just feels like they're lying to the creators because it is hard for me to imagine you're only getting like three people. Uh, Especially with your audience. Here, here, I'm sure so many the, people in your audience have depression. Here's what I'll say about my brand manager. I trust them explicitly. I'm not um, saying yeah, they're they're I'm not saying they're going after you. I'm saying this you know, company I'm is saying, lying to I'm, you guys. Right. I want to I'm saying I want you guys to know for a fact that if I don't want anybody thinking anything badly about my brand manager or the company he works for, they're fucking incredible. If if anybody's getting lied to, they're certainly on on that list of people getting lied to. They're not doing the lying. I guarantee goddamn too. Well, you yeah, know, that's that's my that's my hunch. It feels like that uh, the influencers and their managers and their agents, it feels like everybody's getting lied to by this company, which makes me even more curious about what the hell's going on here. There's no way with your audience you're only getting three people. I refuse to believe that. They're they're lying to you. No that's way, just yeah. ridiculous. I think it's I think no it's way, just no a, I think it's just such a niche niche audience, man. I No, I mean, no boogie. I bet you if I were to do something like something like that right now, I get more than two or three, like definitely, even with my smaller audience. I, mean, especially, I, I do. I don't want to address something real quick. So somebody did ask if I did a dedicated video. Um, no, but I did do one of my videos talking about getting back into physical therapy, like getting back into therapy in the same room as somebody um, with the Mercy Network up and, and Rogers. And I did talk about getting back on medication. And then in that video is the entire video was dedicated to my personal mental health. And then at the end of that video, I did mention that better help push oh, me in that direction. There's another video so, that says, will I, I ever a dedicated video? Th this video says, but, will I ever get remarried? And then that one has the better help. Yeah, that's, in it. that's the one I'm talking okay. about. Yeah. Okay. So it, yeah, they, uh, I talk about Bookie, my do you, know, talk. Do, you, do you know in the emails? Cause I, I saw Worski got this and I have a feeling this is what they're doing with everybody. Uh, they try to dance around it and do this, what they call soft touch marketing shit. Where they're like, oh, we don't want it to be a scene as just a um, um, uh, sponsored advert, right? So we want to help you integrate it into your personal story, talking about your personal struggle. Did they approach you with that kind of uh, an angle, a kind of attack? Not, 
Not really. I mean, it is very common. Like, so when, when I do Verve, for example, Verve very much wants me to use their service. They very much want me to watch the shows on the service and they want me to personally recommend a show that I personally enjoy. Right. When I was working with Daily Harvest, Daily Harvest wanted me to find a food that they sold that I personally enjoyed and then be able to recommend a product I personally like. And so every company I've ever worked with always wants me to try the service, to use the service, to see if I like the service before we ever sell the service. And I always insist on doing that. And if a company has ever said, well, we just rather we would we, we don't want to send you anything. Uh, we're not going to let you use the service. Then fuck you. I'm not going to not even consider it. So That's the true. closest, yeah, the closest, the closest they they said is you should sign up for the service, see what you think, and if you do like it, then you can you have a personal story. But while so you like were scrolling through your emails, I saw something said that was titled explicitly in the emails "Better Help Talking Points," and I think that's what he's asking about. Oh yeah, now I can show you that exactly. Okay, I'll bring that up right now. Um, this is my friend Brad. So, Better Help Talking Points. Sorry for the delay. Brought to you by BetterHelp.com slash Boogie. BetterHelp, if you didn't know, is a fantastic place where you can get affordable private online counseling. You get access to licensed, trained, experienced, accredited psychologists, marriage and family therapists, clinical social workers, and board licensed professional counselors. All you got to do is go to BetterHelp.com slash Boogie. You fill out a questionnaire, they match you with a counselor, and you can start counseling today and really lean uh, into the affordability aspect on top of their already fantastic pricing. They offer financial aid discounts. Uh, a personal antidote is recommended but not required. Uh, and then another talking point. So if this sounds interesting, you check out the URL down below. Uh, big note, if you're in crisis or someone you know is in danger, don't use the site. I will link to resources down below where you can get immediate help. And then that's that's basically, it's. and I will get something like this for every company that I ever work with. Like, here's a good example of, of you know, what we would like, um, but make it entirely yours, do it however you want. But this is this is the stuff we would love to see covered. And some of it I covered and some of it I didn't cover. Right. Yeah, I'd say they would um, uh, change it depending on who they're asking. So if they're a bigger YouTuber, they would be le uh, more lenient on, oh, you don't have to talk about your personal story. For me, right. they were like, definitely talk about your personal story. By the way, here's a tweet that I just got. Uh, somebody checked Shane Dawson's better help link from his video. And guess what? It has the Rogue Rocket tag right there. In the uh, Franco is playing oh, everybody. Really? He is playing, and this yeah. is a fucking Ponzi scheme, and the Franco's sitting at the top. <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah, yeah. Well, I had a story. I had a story. Um, I was thinking in the chat, but there was um, a DeFranco back in the day. Uh, there were some gaming channels. He had, he had some show called like like cubes or squares or something, where he would have like six channels, right? And he would play it on his show, and then people would vote for what they like. Um, uh, whose channel they like? Oh, like the most so it'd be like like 10 seconds here 10 seconds here 10 seconds here and you'd vote at the end right and then he'd pick the best channels and then he would have them sign up and one of my friends uh from three kilobytes was going to be signed up and i read his contract dude and i was like yo this guy's robbing you like he didn't sign it either like it was like we take 80 percent of your of your youtube revenue but we'll promote you i'm like dude don't sign this shit man uh so he's done this before like He's like the, you know, he's the top of the pyramid. He's a businessman, right? I think he's a bad guy. He's just, you know, just well, making more money than anyone else. Doesn't <laughs> seem good. Just, just remember, and I'm sorry, but just remember that when BetterHelp really started to boom was um, mid 2017, right at the time that the Franco Elite happened and was funded. So just a point to throw out there. Okay, sorry, he's a bad guy. I'm reading the chat. Yeah, that's a shit. <laughs> wait, 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 no, no, no. Take it back. Fuck them. What, it, what uh, memology? What did you say is that this took off when? Uh, right at the time that the Franco elite was funded in 2017. There's a GoFundMe, isn't it? Or a Patreon. So he got seed yeah, money, yeah. basically. Yeah, but you, you know, remember that BetterHelp supposedly has been since open since 2013, but this blew up on YouTube right at the time that Patreon elite from the Franco elite, whatever the fuck it's called, uh, was funded with over 7k at Wait, least could you because do me a, uh, yeah. could, you, could you do me a favor and say youtube one more time youtube i'm sorry I, i'm discount i'm no, a pencil no. as they say no, no, you said <laughs> it, no you said it right you said it right yes go ahead <laughs> basically it seems shane dawson did this entire 
you know, video, he's making this, what, series on Jake Paul, right? And the entire thing is about mental health. Yeah. And then he was shilling that chick, Katie Morton, was in there too. Yep. Who was shilling on all these other people with uh, better help. Mm-hmm. And he's. I met his, his, I, his, I met Katie. She was really, Of course really you did. Yeah, of she's really nice. Did. No, but like my video. Well, I met her at E3. What do you mean? Of course but, I did. I'm just saying I, I met her at E3. She was yeah, really. It was like, yo, know, it's pure scam, man. Like that. Why that is this like. Uh, that whole show that they're doing at E3. It, it, yeah, I'm not E3. Finished. Sorry, I meant VidCon. I went to VidCon and E3 this year. So I got them confused. Okay. That's why, just, that's why it's so fucking dangerous for me to be on a show like this. Because when I get anxious, and of course I'm fucking anxious. I'm on, on here with Ralph. Ralph has called me every name in the goddamn fucking book at this point. So. Um, you know, I, 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 I was, at least he's not, at least he's not playing the sound clips. (laughs) 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 Yeah. It would be a real shame if one of those sound clips suddenly went off. It it? would be terrible. It would be terrible. terrible One clip that I already Uh told him to play before Boogie left. Can I, can I interject for a moment? Cause, uh, just out of curiosity on the, the Kiwi Farms thread, somebody very generously compiled a complete list of all the better help affiliate URLs that they could find. And one of them by, uh, Allegra Shaw. Uh, I clicked it just to see what the URL would look like, and it says UTM campaign equals Influence Logic, which happens to be the company, the marketing campaign that contacted Andy Worski, and does not mention uh, the Rocket Company by Shane Donson anywhere. So that is definitely the top level referral. the The Influence Logic company is just another one of these top level uh, uh, referrers from the Ponzi scheme that have trickled down to, in this case, Allegra Shaw. Interesting. Yeah, this is what was the name? What was the name? Honest. I'll search it. What was the name? Allegra oh. Shaw. Uh, if you go to the forum thread and you just click links and open up the referral URLs, you'll be able to see in the URL uh, bar um, UTM campaign equals influence logic in the uh, parameters. And that parameter will be probably the referrer of the referrer. Right, I'm going to check out some yeah. shit. While you check that out, by the way, again, with the HIPAA laws. So HIPAA protection is specifically when it comes to PII or PHI in a medical facility or medical institution. And BetterHelp basically says that their providers and neither are employees nor are agents to represent. Oh, they're contractors. That's right. Yeah. yeah they're, so, they're, they're it's a work- contractors. so it's a workaround from the entire thing. They're not tied to anything. They don't have to protect any of your data. Everything you said is sold. Everything you've shared, your address, your your what but, you do. Okay, but everything. so I have a question. Does did Discord do the same fucking thing? You know Facebook does. You know YouTube does. You know there's YouTube. that's why Meta uh, refuses to come on Discord. Yeah, well, there's 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 a they're a selling not. therapy <laughs> though. It's not. It's yeah, not a social media different. site. It's it's a therapist site. You know what I mean? Like it's not your deepest darkest secrets are being told to everyone. Yeah, yeah so like straight up. If you're putting if you're putting online if you're putting on online in any fucking way. Do not have any delusions that it's not feeding the uh, fucking. This, this is cat- this, this is catastrophic, though. I mean, if they really are selling data, this is going to lead to suicides when people figure out that their darkest secrets are out there in some corporation's hands. Yeah, how do you think I feel right now? If that's, I mean, again, if it's going to the AI, I don't even really give a shit about that at this point. But some of the stuff that I said in in confidence, I don't. I would not want a hacker to fucking get. That's terrifying. Oh, I didn't yeah. even think of that. But yeah, they, it could get oh, intercepted, yeah. couldn't it? Ninety percent. I mean, don't get me wrong. Don't, don't get me wrong. I waited until I was on the phone with her to be to to, to talk about like the really dark shit, you know. But that's recorded. Just, uh, just throwing this out there. I happen to be in machine learning, and I'm interested in buying information regarding depression from BetterHelp uh, regarding. <laughs> Boogie, you want to contact it, me? Josh. Yeah, um, sure. I am. I am in that industry. Josh is shilling again. Um, but no, even I'm pretty sure those calls are recorded. I don't know. Yeah, I, it's I'm void. trying to remember where we did them, uh, it, it, but yeah, it, it, she can be easily recording it on her end. And I, I Arkansas app, correct? I don't remember. I, I honestly don't remember how. Yeah, if there's an called. interface I, or a UI yeah. in between you two, they have. You're right. It was there. probably. Hold on. I bet I figured out. Better help has an app that you can use to call them and to set up dates and everything. It's all recorded. Everything is That's recorded. Probably what we did. Yeah, on the policy, guys. On the policy, it says. That it can be used for marketing purposes and also for training purposes. But the training for who? If the persons, the counselors don't work for better health directly, who they are they training? Well, exactly. the marketing, especially. Who what are they gonna market to? Like if you're if you're some crazy person that's got like some weird suicidal issue, like 
how is that going to help you sell Nikes? There's something going on here that yeah. they're not being upfront because about. Because of, of I the think Facebook connection. They're training the, oh, the marketing tools on Facebook to be able to figure shit. out when people are vulnerable to buying shit. Yo, so here's yo, I found some shit, dude. Okay. Wait, I, 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 I forgot to check. Joel has a different email at Influence Logic. I searched Influence Logic, and he's giving me all his inf- um, all, all the companies that he was using. And he even says this in one email. I, 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 hey guys, I hope all is well. Uh, Spectre has asked me to request that all YouTubers delete their ICO review videos. They just yeah, they probably got in trouble case. with the fucking feds for their bullshit. Okay, I, I've gone back and I've looked at our phone sessions. And yes, the phone session was, she called me through the site. So yes, that is how we did that. Rip and pepperoni. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. <laughs> It's between yeah. you, your therapist, God, and the Facebook data money. Well, then I'll, I, and everyone else has access to that. All the Russian hackers got that shit. I will just go ahead and admit to everything now. Let's, could I do it right at the library? Fuck it. I mean, Before it gets out, let me tell you the truth. I am a furry, and I like getting pegged. <laughs> Oh God! No. Wait, so that wasn't a joke. When you were talking about getting your asshole pegged just five minutes ago to that woman, you weren't. I mean, weren't. if she was, if she was down, why not? Like, I will do anything. Else. <laughs> <laughs> this is the greatest oh, interview shit. of all time. What yeah, like it. Yeah, yeah, whatever. What's your fursona? My fursona. I am an Uber Wolf. I'm an Uber Wolf. That's gay. Come on, pick a better one. No, that is my persona. Uh-huh. God damn it! I've been an Uber Wolf since I played EverQuest. I was a character. Uber. Oh my God! Look, Wait, I'm so are you serious? Yeah, I was Uberwolf. I'm gay. I, or I'm not gay. I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. We're going to work through this. We're going to work through this. Would you like to? <laughs> 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 I was gay. Even if I want to get fox fucked in my butthole. That's oh nothing. There's nothing wrong. With Are it. you sure we're working through this together? This is this is the better er help now, and we're trying to get to the bottom of your issues. Are you sure you're not a Bro. repressed homosexual? I no, know. Please, no, I, 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 I know how straight I am. I've kissed three dudes. Okay, I know how straight I am. I've tried. <laughs> if I could be gay, I would be gay. If I could be gay, I would be gay. But I can't. Okay, I tried. Why, 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 why would you kiss a, kiss a fourth? Well, the first guy. Okay. Well, I haven't had a fourth offer. The first guy I kissed. Um, was to explore, you know, it was in high school and he's like, Hey, how do you know you're gay? How do you know you're straight? I'm like, cause I don't. I'm like, how do you know you're bi? He's like, cause I, I tried both things. And he's like, would you like to try a dude? And I'm like, I guess whatever. So I kissed a dude. And then I'm like, no, this is disgusting to me. I don't like the stubble in your face. And also, you know, your tits are bigger than any girls because you're like 400 pounds or whatever. He was a big guy. Um, and then, so the next two times I kissed a guy was during games of gay chicken. If you're familiar with that game. No, I'm not. Like, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> the premise is the premise is you lean in. The premise is you lean in to like kiss somebody, and the first one to duck out loses. And so, <laughs> since I, I'm con- I'm hundred so always won. I'm hundred percent confident in my sexuality. I always won. And so, two different guys. I had to lock lips with about three seconds, but that was enough for me to get him to to walk away. I don't give a shit. I'll kiss a dude. I'm so straight. I don't mind kissing dudes. Kissing dudes to own the gays. <laughs> you ever blow someone boogie? Fun. And I'm not actually a furry. No, I no, I have not. I You're did. Full of shit. Yeah, <laughs> wait, 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 I never what? blew anybody. How do you? What do you think? I'm full of shit. I've never no, blown anybody. You're, you are. A, you can't walk back the furry thing. It's too late. Yeah, I'm not late, a furry. It's a joke. You said you no, were. no, 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 no. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being a furry. Fuck it. You want to be a furry? Be a furry. I don't think there's everything wrong with being a furry. I don't think it's just popping up on his screen from his manager. What are you doing? Take it back. (laughs) Too late. I don't kink shame. I think you should whatever you're into. Uh, we, we it do doesn't kink, harm another person. We, we, you do. Want to do. we definitely do. Kink shame. Uh, you can be a furry, but if you ever get an opportunity to go to a petting zoo, we're gonna ask that you say no to that. Or at least, if you do say yes, please record it and send, send I, it to us. I grew up on a farm. I had as much chance to do it. Whatever. Oh no, Buggy! Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Christ. Look, man, if you don't have sex with the sheep, their wings will not be small. No, Boogie. <laughs> Boogie, no. Boogie's the best. <laughs> Fucking sheep. I. This is the worst part about it is like a lot of people are like, Boogie, oh, you're, you're so fake on YouTube. You're not really that nice of a guy. No shit. If you've tuned into a single fucking Twitch stream, I like edgy humor. I like jokes. I watch iDubs every time he fucking uploads, man. I don't know. 
I watch fucking drama alert because I enjoy the drama. I watch the kill. I watch Ralph retort mostly as a form of self harm because you fuckers hate me. But, um, but you know, I mean, I'm, I'm an edgy guy in real life, you know, and you'd be surprised how often I agree with, with some of the shit you guys have to say. It's, it's oh, not 1488. No, no, I hate that. I mean, either way. I, what the I hell was, I was, in my, <laughs> I I was a nineteen eighties liberal, so I I believe no matter what color you are, what shape you are, what size you are, how old you are, what, your sexuality, your sexual preferences, I don't give a shit. You're not harming somebody else. I don't give a fuck. That's fine. You just be whoever you want to be. I don't give a fuck. What what are the twenty nine words though? Are there twenty nine? I thought it was what is I thought it was like it's fourteen eighty eight. That's right, the fourteen words in the eighty. Well, yeah, you got you got half of it right. And what have you added? What what is your twenty word twenty nine word manifesto? Boogie? Oh, be kind to people. Buy me a pizza. Hail Hitler. Yeah, and then also yeah, right. That part, <laughs> <all> <laughs> <different> <laughs> right of course, I can it now. Right. You can't walk that back either. You're you're an Uber wolf, a homosexual. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> this is so <laughs> surreal. Yeah. I didn't even watch <laughs> Boogie. I'm like, I'm like, Boogie awesome. would never. <laughs> that's why this why that's why this shit never bothers me. That's why this shit never bothers me. Like everybody's like, oh my god, uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just me, dude. I'm just me. Well, well, he's a little edgy. Yeah, you discovered the the great secret that I have a sense of humor too. I have, I have to, to ask you a fuck. I have to ask you something. Yeah. When when Anita did that shit at VidCon. Yeah, and then she was crying or some sh- or or made you cry. What did she oh, say yeah. backstage? I mean, nobody cried. She showed she shoved her fucking finger in my fucking face and wagged that shit. And she's like, I don't fucking appreciate what you fucking said up there. No, and I have a fucking time to fucking respond. And I'm like, lady, Back I have an anxiety there. disorder, so I recommend you walk away right now, and we can <laughs> talk in a few minutes because I don't want to depersonalize and say or do anything that's going to kick e- get either of us kicked out of VidCon. She's like, I didn't know about your anxiety disorder. I'm like, well, now you do, so give me some fucking space. And then we went back behind stage and we talked for a while and I tried to convince her that maybe she does more damage than good. And she tried to date to convince me I do more damage than good. And then she, the worst thing that she fucking said to me sits with me to this day. So this is one thing that drove me fucking crazy. She said, she's like, you know, you, I said, I, 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 as a straight white man, aren't I supposed to be fucking immortal? Like I'm never supposed to get hate, but I get hate all the fucking time. You should hear what this Ralph motherfucker says about me. Uh, you know, so I get hate constantly. I get fucking harassed. I got doxxed. I get fucking people showing up my front fucking door. I get big black dildos sent to my fucking P.O. box so I can, you know, oh, he's my wife with them and shit. I'm like, Why? <laughs> so aren't I immune? Aren't I immune? And she's like, no, Steve, you're not immune. And you would be if you were a normal straight white guy, but your obesity is what makes you a target. And I'm like, dude, not a fucking chance. Like, the fuck, do not, do, do not fucking diminish me just to being fat. Like, out of all the fucking people, that to me is fucking bigoted. That to me is bullshit. Yes, I happen to be a fat guy. That's not the only fucking thing I am, right? But even if that was the case, shouldn't my straight white maleness make it so that I'm still immortal? Shouldn't that be enough to where I would never get fucking harassed no matter how fucking fat I got? Because I'm straight, I'm white, I'm male, I'm bulletproof, right? I'm the problem. So So she's trying to find your negative and point it out like, but you're fat, right? So you you understand your... Yeah, you wow. don't know what. It's, yeah, you don't know what it's like to be a real straight white man. I know the fuck. I don't. I'm straight. I'm white. I'm a man. Fuck off. She did not say that. Yes. No. She said. She said, Steve. The reason you get harassed, if you were a normal straight white guy, you would not get harassed. <laughs> but your morbid obesity makes you a target. That's what people see when they are attacking you. Oh my that god. That is pretty dehumanizing. I gotta agree right. with you on that. And then I made a video calling her out on this shit, and you guys fucking attacked me. I'm like, what the fuck, man? What the fuck am I doing wrong? I don't, I, I don't think I've, I've, I've ever <laughs> talked about you doing a video <laughs> no, about a lot of people, but I'm just saying a lot of people in your audience and stuff, you know. And I don't know what the fuck am I doing wrong? I, I you know, like, like well, I, I can tell you what people complain about if you would like me to. Well, I get the general premise. Number one, they didn't like the fact that I called myself a straight white man, but I don't believe that being a straight white man gives me any special fucking powers. They do. They fucking do. So when you're talking to these people, you use the terminology. If they called me a Googleplex, I would say I'm a Googleplex. They call me a straight white man. I say I'm a straight white man. And I said, as a straight white man, I still get harassed. Harassed. So your belief that it makes me fucking bulletproof is fucking bullshit. And that's well, my. Whole I think point. a lot of but problems what people know? have. I mean, speaking for myself, is you seem to you seem to rob the fence a lot. Even going all the way back to the GamerGate stuff, you you came right, out but that's and, you, how I and you supported GamerGate, and then you're like, you caught a bunch of heat, and you're like, oh, no, sorry, I disavow. No, no, 
Yeah. No, here's here's my Gamergate perspective. Of well, course, I don't want to go too women. deep into it, but but yeah, but, but give me a chance. Give me a chance. So I won't get okay. too deep. But of course, we shouldn't harass women. Of course, we shouldn't fucking harass people. Of course, we shouldn't attack people. Doesn't matter what color they are. Doesn't matter what sex they are. Never attack anybody. You dumb shits. But also, do you think we could get a little fucking ethics the way you assholes are reporting shit? Yeah, but, all, and, but I, yes, you are correct. We shouldn't attack women, but stop being fucking lying pieces of shit. But, but the you're whole right. Narrative was women. was bullshit in the first place. And then I guess the the nice guy thing's been brought up too. It's just like, oh, I always love people and be nice to people when it's clear. But that's just I, how I personally. We, feel. we had cornering on here, and he said you're not you're not really like that in private, and and that that's kind of a false. Well, persona. I mean, yeah, he, ask him he, about that. What is interview, the deal with interview, you, and, uh, you and quartering? Jeremy Hambly. Yeah, there seems to be bad blood. <laughs> oh, I will. I, I don't want to start shit with Jeremy again right now. But he, I do. I want to hear it. Please, please tell us what yeah. the bad blood is. I'll do it. I, I don't do want to deal with it. Go for it. But, He's a uh, humble ambassador. But of so, so long story short, me and Jeremy were friends for a really long time. And we talked all the time. And he got to know the real me. He got to know. He knew when I was starting to have marriage troubles. He knew that stuff. We, he sponsored my YouTube streams when I do magic unboxings. Everything was cool for a while. And then he started like um, what I felt was attacking other people. He would t- attack Tulare Community College. He would make these memes where like, you know, Wedge was sucking off the professor and stuff like that, and he would share it. And I, I found that shit, and I lost my fucking mind. Wedge has been a friend to me. The professor has been a friend to me. And so I got him on the phone one night. I'm like, dude, what the fuck are you fucking doing? Why do you fucking do this shit? You're a fucking sociopath. Why? You're not the person I thought I was friends with. What the fuck are you fucking doing? I don't understand who acts like this. Why do you do this shit? Like, why don't you just fucking concentrate on unboxings and shit? That's what I liked your content for. Why the fuck do you do this shit? And I, I probably called him every name in the book. I probably called him a sociopath, probably called him a psychopath on the phone. I probably called him every name in the book. But that was me angry. That was me anxious. That was me depersonalized. That was me being an asshole. I apologized to him as soon as it was over, as soon as I was back down to like earth and, and not a crazy person anymore. Um, and we've been friends again ever since. But yeah, every once in a while, it's like I got a Skype conversation recall, call recorded where Boogie called me every name in the book. He's not. Yeah, he said guy. he had it recorded. Because yeah. it's, it's because he's fucking. It's because he's fucking attacking uh, my friend Brian, who I've all been friends with for just as two fucking years. If two people gotten uh, into a house, uh, uh, two of your oldest friends from like the last five years got into a fight in your fucking house and one of them started swinging first, who would you throw out, man? Who would you be mad about? That's who I was mad at. I got you. It's kind of weird, though, that he'd have a recording of you going off and threatening to play it, though. That's kind of scummy, isn't it? Well, I mean, if that's how he protects himself, and I don't know that for sure he has a recording. I think I've I think I've heard that secondhand through one of his friends or something like that. I don't think he's ever directly said it to me. Was but, his was his you know, friend certain, a little Romanian certain, uh, pigeon by the name of V? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's V. I think who said he's got a yeah, recording. Yeah, V. <laughs> was it really? Yeah, I think him it really time. was V. By the way, V. Somebody messaged me this on on Twitter, and I forgot well, about no, this. V, v, v made videos about me and talking. Well, about there was a he, he had a clip. A really nice guy, Boogie is a piece of shit, and Boogie and, and Jeremy has proof. You know. Well, V seemed to imply that you were um, maybe a fan of cheese pizza. I guess would be a way to put it. Uh, uh, I don't know what that means. Um, uh, I, I, child I prefer. <laughs> what the fuck? No. Yeah. Why? What? Seriously? Yeah, he he kind of left it hanging Holy out there. Yeah, he kind of he kind of left that hanging. He, he didn't finish Holy the thought. Shit. But yeah. Holy shit! I mean, I was molested as a kid, and I know a lot of people that get molested as a kid break in that direction. But I definitely did not break in that direction. I mean, don't get me wrong. I've gone out with a few 20, 20, 21 year olds, twenty year olds in my lifetime. You know, how like you, you guys know the lot Lucy Fox girl. I went out with her for a little while. You know. So, but I mean, I've never fucking, I can't imagine 20 is hard enough. You know how much shit a 20 year old girl knows? A 20 year old girl knows three things and she's wrong about all of them. That's, you know, fuck, yeah. I can't my, imagine. My wife's 21. Uh, old, <laughs> year old, seven year old. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hello, uh, yeah, I got to oh. say, I like this boogie better. Why aren't you like this yeah. more often? Yeah. This is fun to talk to. Because yeah, this man. is because this is also who I am. But when I make a YouTube video, wh- wh- what am I going to say? What am I going to do about this? Like, what is my video going to be today? Hey, well, everybody! Well, I, I like I like pretending to be a furry and sucking dicks. And you, <laughs> go, back and look, go, back, go back and look at my go back and look at my fucking mayonnaise video. Go back and look at me eating meat. Go look at my W two F series or watch a single fucking stream. This is what I do on stream every night. I make jokes about sucking dicks. I make jokes about fucking I rap over rap music. I, this is what I do on Twitch every night, five nights a week. Why don't you try it on YouTube though, man? Because I don't I like what I do on YouTube. I like talking about video games. I like talking about my personal health. Yeah, I like doing a sucking dick. 
Like, hey, I and like when people, uh, the other thing is, how fucking stupid would you have to be to try to gain followers by state going down the middle? You get hate from the left. You get hate from the right when you go down the middle. The only reason I go down the middle is that's because how my fucking brain works, dude. That's the only reason I go down the fucking middle because that's how my fucking brain well, works. You do have a well, large percentage of people. Me, okay, oh, well. Nita, Nita on the left of me putting her finger in my fucking face. Ralph railing me on the Ralph report every fucking week. I don't know. You, you think, Ralph you think, did no railing of Boogie. No, no, no railing. I did not, I did not rail. <laughs> yeah. But but I guess there are a lot of people who kind of sit in the middle and are like, oh, well, both sides are bad. You know, there's there's a huge demographic for that. Both too. sides are bad and both sides have points. Well, and yeah, people suck. If I may, I want to interject with just my, I have very limited experience watching your content, but we were sure. watching your stream and the way that you kind of interjected between those super chats by like randomly doing that PG shit with the pee pee poo poo, it, it really made me uncomfortable and kind of cringe because it was oh, just because it's, it's, that's a stream meme. So you're not familiar with that. No, no, but it, yeah. it did it, like people in chat were saying it's like the boogie has a facade and whenever he's talking, he has a facade wow. and. And you know you're saying you're keeping it real, but the minute you left that stream and got on here, you you got fucking hard about AI, and, and you got fucking really dark about that. Like, then, wow, then you need to like listen to this guy. Go watch some of, then go watch some of my fucking streams because this is this is me, dude. I have a character named Clifty who fucking is terrified of Robert Mueller breaking into his house, and I pretend to get con uh, uh, deleted by Donald Trump and Obama fucking three nights a week when I do the Matrix song. This is what I do on Twitch. Twitch to me is a completely different performance. But the truth of the matter is, is YouTube a performance? Yes. Is Twitch a performance? Yes. Is this a performance? Yes. All, all of this is aspects of who I actually am. If you ever met who I actually am, you'd be bored to fucking tears. I sat in front of the couch. I play fucking Magic the Gathering. I sat there and stare at shit. I'm super sad and I'm super depressed and I didn't do anything. What, uh, everything what, I, what everything I do is a personality. By the way, what color do you favor? I don't know. I've always liked green-black combo. You know, uh, I, if I had to pick a color, color the blues. <laughs> I, prefer, <laughs> I don't know much about the blues, but I do love the whites. Oh. Hey, now, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> See? Right. The juice. Yeah. We're we're gonna convert. What is you. that shit? What is that <laughs> shit? <laughs> why, why? I don't give me that shit. Like, why is that? Is that funny to you guys? I don't understand that shit. No, we're dead serious all the time. You no, said it, you not me. I didn't. <laughs> yeah, that was that. Here's here's it became here's a story as it kept going on. <laughs> here's a story. Here's a Here's a story that I think your audience will like. Okay, and this and I should go after this because I want to go entertain my house guests. Um, but. That said, and that's just my friend. Her name is Danny. She's really great. She does special effects, makeup, and stuff. And we've just been hanging out the last couple of weeks. I need somebody to help me do exercise. And she's been going to the gym with me and walking every day. It's been a lot of fun. That's it. Um, I know a lot of people are curious about that. Oh, she a thought? Is she trying to get Instagram famous? No, we're just hanging out. We're friends. Um, but anyway, uh, so when I was a kid, I was failing history class. And my history teacher says, if you'll read three books this summer, or you read three books by the, by before summer, I will give you a D passing grade. I'm like, sure. So the three books he gives me, number one is Lewis, I think Lewis Carroll's The Jungle, if you're familiar with that one. It's about industrialization in the United States and some miserable shit that has, happens in it, including um, somebody uh, losing their hand on like the fucking meat grinder. And it, the, there's no regulation at the time. It's like 1890. So their hand gets made in sausage. And then people just eat that shit because there's no regulation, right? The second one was like Bury My Heart at Wounded Knee or one of those Indian books. And it was basically about a big march where they marched all these fucking Indians and then all the many Indians got killed and all these people died and like only half the people that are trying to put them the reservation made it. Oh, I, I, think I, I think I read that one. Is that about the Donga tribe? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure it's about the Sugma tribe, isn't it? Oh, okay. I may be mistaken. I'm sorry. Go ahead. It must be similar. Um, and so the third book was on the Holocaust. I don't remember the name of it. And so I'm reading the book and here's something I found fascinating in this book. It's so fucking depressing, this book. But they were talking about the Japanese experiments. Are you familiar with the Japanese experiments where they were like vivisecting The water women? purification facility in Manchu? I don't remember that. I do yeah, remember I the vivisection. Yeah. I do remember them uh, the doing open heart surgeries on people that didn't need open heart surgeries, like some really crazy shit. Mm -hmm. And so what I found out from this book is a lot of Nazi scientists and doctors were given asylum in the United States in exchange for the knowledge they had possessed. I didn't know that, you know, but uh, if you think about it, a lot of, a lot of some good came from all of that in that health science was, was advanced many, many years. And that's one of the things that kind of made me have the mentality that I have. Nothing is black and white. The Holocaust is horrible, absolutely horrible. 
but some good came out of it. <laughs> you gotta look for that oh, silver. Wait, some good came out of it. <laughs> oh, no. I know. Out of context, that's a terrible statement. But yes, some good. We less children die during childbirth because of it. That's yeah. true. That is true. And roller coasters got much. It money. wasn't worth the price. It wasn't worth the fucking price. But that's some. So anyway, I get to this fucking page in the middle of the book, and there's pictures, and there's a very famous picture. You can look it up. And someone had scrawled inside one of the gas chambers the phrase, "If there is a God, He will beg my forgiveness." And I read that and something fucking broke inside of me. And I'm not proud to say it, um, but I cried so hard I fucking laughed. And from this day, I fucking love edgy humor. I love the most disgusting, most awful fucking edgy humor I can find. I have looked at fucking Style Project back in the day. I've been on 4chan my whole fucking life. I'm not much in the last couple of years, but... I, I, I look for edgy humor. I don't tell it on, on YouTube. I don't tell it on Twitch. But I do l read it every once in a while, and I enjoy it every once in a while because of how awful it is. I can't imagine actually, actually being racist. But I get the humor in pretending. How, how are you surviving on Twitch, by the way? Like, I, I know Destiny and other people, uh, they're getting banned, like, every other day for even stepping a little bit out of line with any kind oh, of... Oh, I guarantee I'm getting... I guarantee I'm getting banned tonight for for, for dual broadcasting you guys. I guarantee. I guarantee. I guarantee. Shout out to Twitch staff. Uh, <laughs> Thanks so much. I, if, not, if, not, if not, it'll be a temporary suspension. But that said, I don't... Uh, th this is very different from what I normally do. I don't tell edgy jokes like that. I've, I follow the rules, right? You know, I follow the rules, so I'm not going to, uh, you know, I will tell my little chess joke. You know, I like to go first in chess. That's why I prefer the whites. So. But that's the ed edgiest I'll get. By the way, I know I know you've been uh, generous with your time, but uh, V stopped in uh, real quick. If you if you. Hey, V, to. what's up, man? Yeah. Hey, I, I want to clear the air because uh, you did point out that I made a video about you. And, uh, you know, I, I've been thinking. Oh, you made about several. I've served you on several podcasts. You made several videos. You have ridden me like a fucking pony, dude. I don't know what your deal is. Yeah, and this is why I'm here, to clear the air. So, I was playing, I believe it, it was... It seems pretty fucking clear, dude. It seems pretty fucking clear. Yeah, well, let me, let me explain it from my point of view. Um, I, I've been a huge fan of yours, especially during Gamergate and afterwards. I've been following your channel constantly. And the reason I was doing this is because you came off a very... Um, how should I say? Very, very innocent, gamer-like person. Uh, one of the very few YouTubers who look like that. And then I was playing with the quartering and Arch Warhammer. We were playing uh, some Warhammer 40k. And it was during the controversy regarding uh, the MTG thing, the cosplay thing, where the quartering uh, was attacked left and right. Oh, yeah. I went uh, fucking off on him, and I'm not afraid to admit it. I yeah. called him every name in the fucking book, But, but book, here's dude. what happened. Here's what happened, right? I think you called him. And he was playing with us, and it was actually his microphone was still on, and, and I could hear you literally screaming at him. And as you said, you were yeah, calling was, him all the names in the book. Yep, right? that's exactly what I said. Every fuck yeah. I literally yeah. called him a fucking sociopath, psychopath, piece of shit. How dare he attack the professor? How dare he attack my fucking friends? Fuck you! I literally yeah. word for word what I said. Exactly. But then, like three seconds later on the Twitter, you post this thing where you say that you're still cool with him. There's not, no, not nothing wrong with him, and you're still friends, and blah, blah, blah. And to me, that, that seems so disingenuous. Uh, I mean, you, you, it's hard to scream on Twitter, dude. You know, and what else am I supposed to fucking say? I, at that point, I went from being very angry to calming down. I went from out of control to some level of control. And then I, I, I was like, you know what? This isn't worth losing a friend. So I, I, fuck it. I guess now that you're saying it, but, but you can see how it looked from my point of view. No, it's fine, man. I, I Here's the thing. I don't know why you, I, even if it did look like that, I don't know why the fuck you made a career out of like three months of talking about it, like every chance you had. But I, I guess if that's what your life is, that's your life, man. You know? Well, it, it also seemed really disingenuous because you were very willing to talk about uh, the quarter rig when it came to the cosplay thing. But when it was about pedos in magic, you didn't say a peep. Because I still don't believe that shit, and I want you to—I want you to fully know that I—I I know twenty magic judges, not a single one of them fucking pedophiles. I think it's—I think that Jeremy blew that way out of proportion. I think there's a handful of pedophiles out of the thousands and thousands of judges there are. I think there's probably ten or fifteen of them. They're pedophiles. Now that said, I did ruin my relationship with Wizards of the Coast by insisting they start doing background checks. You can find that on my Twitter file. I tweeted, really, yeah, I tweeted Wizards of the Coast, and I tweeted, and Wizards of the Coast will not work with me now to this day. Oh my god! Isn't I know, that why, shady? why do you think that is? Why, why, why do you think they're so resistant to having this well, common sense exactly practice? Why, because they specifically said someone who would support, um, someone who would attack people in their community 
specifically women in their community. And since I supported somebody who who did that, they don't want to have anything to do with me when there's plenty of other people they can choose to work with. And do you buy that shit? Very clear. Of course. Yeah, of course not. They're they're mad that crazy. me and Jeremy, they're mad that me and Jeremy are friends and that I won't denounce Jeremy, so they don't want to work with me. And I believe it 100 percent Well, V, are you going to apologize? Because it sounds like Boogie put his ass out there. I don't want something. I don't want your apology, man. I want to know if he's I want to know if he's I don't want to know. Yeah, no, hold on. If you actually look, I deleted the video I made about you a lot. No, 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 but you said he was disingenuous. Who gives a shit? The damage is done. Who gives a shit? Yeah, but you 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 can delete it all you want once everybody's seen it. It's been done. The damage is done, man. You know, like this Lucy Fox shit. Do you believe that Lucy Fox shit? Did you actually watch that video? How many times did that girl mention money? She mentioned money every third word. Come on. Did you yeah. ever believe any of that shit? But I, I don't think I spread that shit around with Lucy Fox. No, the the only thing that I was Jeremy shit. You were wrong about this Jeremy shit. I, me and Jeremy had it. I don't know what Jeremy was fucking telling you to make you think that stuff about. No, me. no, no. I, I, I told you what happened, it, right? You you basically were screaming at him, and then a, cu- a couple of seconds later, you put on Twitter that you're still friends with him. Well, well, look at the end of the fucking day. I want. I, I am still friends with him. That's not a lie. We're still talking. Right, but you, you, know, you know, you you hear I, this guy screaming and cursing, and, and then you're posting this very uh, kind message on Twitter. Um, Can I ask you a very serious question, V? Have you never argued with a friend? Have you never lost your fucking temper? Have you never gotten to a single fucking fight? Because I've been no. in a, I've been in several fights, man. And I'm a pussy, and I've been in fights. You ain't never been in one? You never no, disagree with a friend? No, no, no. I, I'm okay, told then what it. the fuck, dude? Then what the fuck? Why is it so special when I do it? Well, no, it was just like the next second you're posting on Twitter like it's cool and nothing happened. You, I mean, you, it, never, it, you, you never went through a fist fight and then hugged it out afterwards. That's not something you've ever done? Because that's something I've done. Yeah, of course. I'm which surprised. is why I came here. Like when you're putting it this way, it makes sense. So that's it. That's exactly what I did. V is, v is telling you that he has never had a confrontation with Don Sargon. He he will not step out of line. Oh well, yeah, Capos <laughs> can't do that. The skeptic mafia. That's not allowed. <laughs> right. I here's what I actually believe. V, if you if if we're really throwing punches tonight, and I don't fucking mind throwing punches. I believe that you were being purposely obtuse. I believe that you're being disingenuous. That's what I fucking believe. I think you were doing it because you wanted to ride my fucking coattails, and that's what I Whoa. genuinely believe. And if you apologize for that, I don't want it. That's what I believe. I believe that I believe that you were taking it out of the context. I believe that you're using it to ride my coattails. I believe you're using it to to put my name in videos. I believe you were purposely, purposely ignoring it when it clear, as clear as fucking day is what it is. And that's what I think about 80% of people do on YouTube when it comes to me. No, I, I'm I'm generally saying I'm not doing that. If you look at my channel, I don't usually put people's names in my. Well, maybe videos. you're not doing it now, but I th- I guarantee if you I, I I either that or I'm just gonna be I'm I'm just I, like I said if we're throwing punches we're throwing punches. Yeah. I think you're smart enough. I think you're smart enough to have put those together on your own, and I think you chose not to. To me, the most if you're not that smart. If you're not that smart, then hey, that's up to you. But I think you're smart enough. I really, I really like this boogie. I've got to say, you really you. swung my, <laughs> yeah. you swung my fucking opinion around real quick tonight, man. Yeah, no, make another crazy. channel called Boogie Two Nine Eight Nine and just do this shit. No, I mean, don't yeah. get me wrong. This isn't what I like to do. What I like is making people happy. What I like is making people You're laugh. You're making what me like so happy. happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is good. Dude. This is actually really good. good. <laughs> Um, can we can we put Boogie down one to zero on the blood sports? <laughs> <laughs> it's a victory. I call that a victory. Well, yeah. this is, no, this is furry sports. Oh, that he's another. Right, no, uh, V's another kin. So I mean, that's kind of or scaly, scaly. I'm not. I'm not another kin. A scaly, <laughs> scaly. <laughs> sorry. It's a, I don't know. It's the furries to me. It's the Uber Wolf versus the Slippery Snake. Uber <laughs> <laughs> Wolf versus <laughs> Untermensch. Okay. No, that, 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 if you yeah. remember my videos, like the 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 things that I said there was that when you're on YouTube, it's a persona. Like you're, you're usually not that kind and not that collected. You're, you're putting on not an act. Well, not it's kind of different. Ask my house guest right now. You could ask my best friend of the last 25 years. I, I, I'm one of the nicest fucking people in the world, dude. Right, and, but sometimes I get angry. Sometimes I get angry. But what you said, what you said is instead of being somebody who, who is, uh, who, who, who's nice, who gets angry sometimes, you decided that I was some asshole that only pretends to be nice. Who fucking thinks like that? Who well, wakes up in the morning and says, I'm going to be an asshole today. Oops, I was accidentally nice on YouTube. No, I'm a nice guy who fucks up sometimes, dude. And you have to know that. You have to have enough sense to know that. 
I, I suppose, you know, we're all YouTubers here. Usually we're entertaining people, like that's our job. So it, it, it makes sense that some people might put on an act, might put on a display, like even though they... Did you put on a fucking act? Because the, the person thinking like that is the person I fucking accuse. No, I don't. But there are other YouTubers who do. So it's See, not... I disagree. I think you were being purposely obtuse. I think you were pretending when you made those videos about me and you said that shit about me. I think you were putting on an act. I think the thing you're accusing me of is what you were doing. That's what I think. And I don't know that you'll ever be able to convince me otherwise. Well, look, okay, put yourself in my shoes, right? You get really upset. Well, I am. When That's how I get to there. Okay. Well, you're really upset when someone uh, is accused of talking shit about cosplayers, right? But then you don't say a word. You don't make a single video when the whole Magic the Gathering pedophiles thing blows because up. That was bullshit. I saw proof. No, it was I saw I but saw the, proof. They, they were convicted. It's not oh, the also, and also, did I tweet about the pedophile shit? Check my fucking Twitter, V. Check my fucking Twitter, V. Check my I, fucking Twitter. No, Fuck, I, I guess you me. tweeted, but my, 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 my criticism Wizards was that you didn't make a video. Oh, Wizards of the Coast to start doing background checks to make sure this shit ha doesn't happen. Yes, I did my, I did my fucking share. I did yeah, my no, fucking my, share. my question was why I didn't make a video because you made the video about the cosplaying shit. Which, let's be honest, it wasn't. That's why, V. Look at how that blew up my fucking face. I don't want to well, touch Jeremy Hambly with out, a out of curiosity. Pole. I've heard that, V, you have some kind of bombshell on Boogie. Is this true? Uh, yeah, the you called me a fucking pedophile? What the fuck is that shit? What? You called me a fucking pedophile? No, I, I never called you a pedophile. You kind of left that joke. What is, what is your bombshell, V? I never yeah, what do you I got on you a pedophile? He didn't, well, he didn't outright call him. That used to be on disability that, that I, I have an no, anger I'll, issue. I'll type it well, in what the do chat. you have? I'll, I'll type it in the chat and you decide if you want to make it public or not. Is that fair? Yeah, I, I'm sure it's bullshit. Well, okay. Ralph, make sure this isn't on screen. No, so. it's not. It's not. Right. This is going to be in this this green. It's, I don't I know guess how it's in the hangout chat. Green room? Uh... Is it, no, it going to be in the green room? Because there's a shitload of people in the green room, dude. Uh, 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 what? No, no, it's not. It's, <laughs> what? Did you see it? Yes. I didn't oh, see it. Did you, I didn't see it. See How do I see it? it? Oh, no, you can't, can't see it. So, it look, I'm in a group. In if, I'm in a group with you and Keemstar. If you don't mind Keemstar seeing it, I can I can put it. Well, maybe you do. I'll, 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 no, I'll yeah, DM yeah, it to him in, in, in Discord. That's that's be fine. Here. Okay, yeah, do that. I, do. I don't know how to check DMs in Discord. Yeah, how do I do that? Well, if, oh, hey, Boogie, if you'll just send me a Twitter DM, I can send it to you real quick. Your DM. Okay, who's that? Who's talking? I don't know who's talking. That's me, Ralph. Yes, yes. Yeah, I see you one right now. It's out the Ralph retort. Yeah, you got you going high. Okay, let me let me check. You see me, you know, I just I I S D F K F G D H D. Okay, okay, I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay. Um, I think right now I'm the only one besides Boogie who doesn't know what it is. Uh, well, Chad keeps asking. I'll give him a hint. It's his persona name. Okay, Chad. So you <laughs> <laughs> keep guessing. I was going to talk about that. So yeah, you I, said I, you I, were, I, weren't a furry though. You walked that one back. Yeah, well, yeah, of course I fucking talked about this, dude. I was depersonalized. I was disassociated. What are you guys surprised about? So uh, I, at some point, I was like, I was like, I'll tell you something. I, I'll, I'll tell you something, dude. I, you, you, I, I, blah, 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 I'm so anxious right now. I'm stuttering. Sorry. I'm like, dude, I'm so fucking miserable with this fucking divorce and shit. I can tell you what, I will give you $10,000 if you will fucking get an assassin to blow my fucking brains out in the middle of the night. I will make sure that my lawyer wires you 10 grand if you can get me fucking killed. Can you do that for me? Because I don't have the balls and I don't want to fucking go through this divorce. I don't want to go through this shit. So fucking end me. So, now, so you asked Jeremy, you asked Jeremy to hire an assassin to kill you, but you do realize that in another video, you complained that people hired assassins to get rid of you. Do you understand how that looks from the outside? When people no, know this knowledge, I, I don't because I I have enough sense to realize that I don't mean something like that when I say it. I don't actually want an assassin to show up at my fucking house. Yeah, uh, kind of. Hey, 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 all right, all right. It sounds I, like I, 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 B, it sounds like hyperbole. If the dude's going through a divorce and he's down on his luck, he's probably. I've, 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 said, like, no, I've, said, I've said shit like V. I've said shit like that. Oh, I wish somebody would yeah, fucking yeah. kill me. This it, sucks. Yeah, it's my way. It's my way of expressing to my friend Jeremy that I'm so fucking depressed. I'm feeling suicidal tendencies, and I wish I had. I, I, I want to talk about it. Yeah, that's my that way. Makes sense. No, hold on. That, that that makes sense. But then you make a video and you say that you you have evidence that someone. Hired the assassin to kill you. I mean, you, yes, several, people several people have. I literally can show you 
uh, the death threats I get in DMs right now are not DMs in, in fucking email every day. And then I can show you where somebody hired somebody on the fucking tour network back in 2011. I think it was 2011 to fucking paid them $3,500 $3, in Bitcoin. Can you imagine what that's worth now? $3,500 in Bitcoin in 2011 to fucking have me killed. I'm sorry, I was on the dark side. And, and how do you expect that? I don't think <laughs> that maybe you ask the guy to to hire the assassin to kill your. Jeff After like learning you how your brain works, I'm not particularly fucking surprised what you think at this point. The boogie, like boogie, giving me no slack. <laughs> This is like, yeah, it's I, like a yeah, sumo wrestler just butts no, them. I, I, like, 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 just no offense. It is clearly that you're drama oriented and you're drama minded and that you go to drama as the first option. And I don't mean that in a negative way. I don't mean that in a mean well, way. I usually but don't meet a lot of people that talk that their lawyer are going to, to pay someone to kill them. You were yeah. depressed. Okay. Yeah, well, you were you were depressed. And I guess, uh, what, what happened? Like, where did he call the cops in order to help you out? Like. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, that's exactly something that happened. I'm like, what are you right, fucking so, so, crazy? So this blew up, like, right? Do, do, like, you not get, do you not get the hyperbole? Yeah, but, but it doesn't seem to be a hyperbole if the cops were involved. Like, th this was a little bit blown no, up, and I think you're, you're, you're trying to lower it down now? I, well, no, I've, had, I've, very serious. I've literally had involved. in my lifetime about four fucking checks, uh, you know, uh, uh, four, how many times have been hospitalized for it, though? Never. Because the cops show up and they're like, oh, are you actually suicidal? I'm like, no, I just talk about it sometimes. I talk about my suicidal tendencies. But am I fucking suicidal? No. Uh, yeah, so the cops yeah, I, I, I got to say, I don't think this is going the way you think it is. I mean. But yes, yeah, so of course, you're, Jeremy. You're harping, you're, hyper, you're harping on the guy for saying he wants to die because he's depressed. And you're like, this is a big bombshell. Oh, my God, this is going to fuck him up. You're just kind of looking like an asshole, to be honest. Well, I, I get yeah. it, Jim. But, but how many people do you know that claim, claim they had uh, someone hire a hitman on them? Like, th this is just very niche to put it how like many that? people have swallowed pills and then puked it out right later you, you know what i mean as someone who has swallowed pills and puked them out later exactly, exactly. Yeah. how many people have like had a noose and like thought about it for a second come on man what are you talking about no my, my point is that the assassin story is quite niche and i haven't heard any other person well, if, say you, if you must know back in 2011 i wasn't quite as fucking depressed as i was in the middle of my goddamn divorce v if that's a surprise to you and so in 2011 when somebody took out a fucking assassin hit on me i didn't want to die when my ex-wife left me two months after my fucking bariatric surgery and i was still shitting blood yeah i was pretty fucking suicidal then all right Things well, change. I don't know, you know. <laughs> Another stellar showing from the skeptic community. Thank you, Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The first ever internet yif sports. Oh my what God. was that's, the? I mean, what it. was the bombshell with the furry thing? I don't. I missed that. Like, what was the big thing? No, oh, I was just joke. pretending no, I was a furry. Uh, uh, I was just pretending I was a furry. By the way, no, no, didn't V say that he had evidence that Boogie was no, a the furrier? No, the bombshell was that I was suicidal. And, no, and the bombshell was that, 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 you, you asked know. Jeremy to hire an assassin to kill you. Now, you're saying it's just a joke, but the guy took it pretty seriously and called the cops. Now, we can look yeah, at the logs and we can analyze if it was just a joke or not. Which is a pretty, it was a pretty dumb thing for Jeremy to do because he's heard, he heard me say stuff like that a hundred times. Oh, I don't know. What, what do you expect? Like, you know, like, I, I, I would have believed it was just a joke and just, well, it's a hyperbole or something, but the cops were involved no. again. Like, it, it no. clearly escalated. Okay. Jeremy, yeah, Jeremy taught me that day that I cannot trust him with those kinds of statements around him, so I've never made one since. Fair enough. But yes, I yeah. do struggle with my suicidal tendencies. I have had suicidal tendencies. I've made about a half dozen videos on them at this point. I, you know, and I talk about it frequently. And sometimes when I trust somebody, I will express my suicidal tendencies to them, hoping that they are smart enough to know that I'll never actually act on them because I haven't acted on them since I was 30 or since 2009 was the last attempt that I acted on them. And uh, I want them to know that I'm safe. And I would never, if I was suicidal, what would be the logic in telling someone if I had planned to kill myself tonight, what would be the point in telling somebody? They're just going to interrupt it. If I was actually ever suicidal. No one would know until I was gone. Am I muted? No, no, you're here. You're here. Can Let's keep starting. What's up, there. guys? This is this is one crazy stream. Yeah, <laughs> this is. You never right, know what's cool. gonna happen. Okay, I'm sorry. Well, that's the thing, man. Like, that's the thing, Ralph. When you're like, and you're just shitting all over me, and I watch it every once in a while, and somebody links it to me, like, "Oh, you gotta hear what Ralph is saying about you." I watch it, and I'm like, "Man, no, this is true." It doesn't bother me.
You know, it's like if you were saying Boogie's from fucking well, Mars. Look, I got to give you I'm more credit than Mars, I got to so. give you a lot more credit than Sargon of Akkad. Let's just put it that way. Well, I, yeah. I, I have to say this. I don't get that reference. Why? I, I, well, because we, we, we shit on straight. him for months and he refuses to come on the show and you come on yeah. at the drop of a hat. So, Skeptics BTF. Well, yeah. I, I, I mean, to be, honest with you, to be honest with you, if I can help you guys get to the bottom of this better help stuff to find out whether or not it's a legitimate company or not, of course I want to do that because I do not want to refer people to a company that is not going to help them. Now, they were helpful to me and that's why I continued to promote them. But I'm going to put it all on pause now that you guys are breaking this shit apart. And once I find out what you guys have decided, I might pick them back up. I might not. If it turns out they're not reputable, then I'll walk away. Simple as that. And of course, I want to come here and encourage you and help you to do that. And do that to all my other sponsors, too. Help help do the footwork for me. You know? Shit. I'm going shit to say you. this. Uh, after talking with you, Boogie, I'm not going to shit on you again. I, I wish I could have talked with you earlier. <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> and, that's, and that's and and that's the thing. All these motherfuckers. I'll tell you how many YouTubers I've reached out to, and I didn't reach out to the UV because fuck it, right? Like whatever, man. You clearly had made your decision, and I wasn't going to fucking change it, and I don't want to spend the time doing it. But sometimes, every once in a while, like on this Lucy Fox shit, I re- I really hadn't reached out to. I reached out to some of these YouTubers, like, hey, can I tell you what really went down? Can we really talk about it? And that's the thing. When people make videos about me, I don't know why they just don't reach out to me. I'll, I'll do your fucking show. I'll do your fucking podcast. Whatever. You want to hear it from me, I will tell you it from me. I don't know why Ralph hasn't done that. But no, Ralph is too busy to be like, oh, you fat cuck piece of shit on Twitter. So I eventually had to mute the guy. But if Ralph was ever like, hey, Boogie, do you, do you want to talk about your fucking dual personas? Do you want to talk about being middle of the line? Do you want to talk about Gamergate? Do you want to talk about what this girl has to say about you? Sure. I don't, but he never we asked. Did, we did play her video on the show, to be fair. We did. I know. I saw it. And well, I was like, holy shit. I mean, we can't are, say are what's true or not. Believing this shit? We can't say like what's true or not. I mean, it's just funny to watch. Like, I, I even during yeah. the video, I was like, well, we don't know if this That's is true. Funny. Yeah, it was just We funny. did. Oh, also, I, I, uh, I do like, want to offer you a sincere apology, though, for that. Um, uh, The reason I didn't. I accept it. I appreciate it. I think it. it's pretty fucked up that you brought up the whole, like, you know, hiring someone to kill himself. I mean, that's really private details that. I put it in the chat. To give, I, I didn't make to give him problem. credit, he gave me a chance to not talk about it. But I'm so open about my suicidal tendencies. I wouldn't even be mad if he just talked about it. It was so it. fucked. Like, that's such a fucked thing. Well, you guys rail on him for me. But oh, no, we will. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before you go, Boogie, wait, wait, Boogie. Before you go, Boogie, 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 Boogie yeah, yeah. you've been yeah. a good sport, but there's one thing we have to do, Gator. Do you I know this is what? You know, there's some black fucking bull that's just. Filling her with cock meat. Oh, some yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Stars. Some big black ball. Just oh, I know. This with cock meat. We had yeah. to do it. We had to do it to you, buddy. <laughs> you guys. You guys do realize. You you guys want to know the truth about my divorce? You guys want to know the real if fucking you, truth? Yes. You yes. yes. Fuck sure. it. Let's, okay, here's what I want to do. Okay, so me and my ex-wife, we hung out for a while. We got married. We were married for four years. In the last year of our marriage, I am an anxious person. I'm a severely anxious person. My ex-wife, um, basically could not handle that anxiety. She's got some anger issues. And so we ended up at this point where I'm anxious all the time and then she would get angry about it sometimes and then I would get angry about it sometimes and we were fighting and we realized that wasn't good. So we made plans and we talked about it in July and we're like, hey, maybe we shouldn't be doing this anymore. And I'm like, yeah, but I got the surgery coming up. Let's see if we can get to the surgery and see if things change. And so we got through the surgery. We saw if things changed. They didn't. So we decided to separate we separated for about a month. At the end of that month, we agreed that we were both better off, so we got a divorce. And that's how that happened. There's literally nothing yeah. more to it than that. There's not another guy. There wasn't another Sad. person. You know, she 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 did move back with her family, and she lives up there in the north with them. And may I ask why you chose to give her give her more money uh, in the divorce than was some. This- so we, instead of doing a, uh, oh fuck. Yeah, I guess it's complicated. I don't know how much of this I should talk about, but I trust you guys and I hope it doesn't fucking bite me in the ass. So I talked this to our live, mediator. by the way. I can trust you guys. So I, 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 I talked to, I, doctor, I'm going to suggest that you shut up. Yeah. <laughs> no, fuck it. Fuck it. So I talked to my mediator and he's, my, I talked to my mediator and I'm like, so what is the deal here? He goes, in Arkansas, if this goes to court, you're going to lose your ass. And I'm like, really? You say, yes. We, the, in Arkansas, they always side with a woman every time. And I'm like, well, I, I'm already prepared to give her half. Why well, won't I just give her half? Right? That's what the law says. And I want her to have that, you know? And he's like, because she left work for the last two years to work under your business. So she's worked with the Francis character. She's been in the videos. She could easily make a case that she owns half of the business. She could get money coming from you for the rest of her life. So if she asks, you say yes. 
And I'm like, okay, that's fair. He's like, I want to save you as much money as I can. And you can either give her half now, or you can get half of what's left after you buy me a fucking yacht and I don't need a yacht. And I'm like, you got it. So when we sat down for mediation, she says, I want this. And I said, yes. She says, I want this. I said, yes. She says, you want this? I says, yes. And I look at that and I'm like, wait, that's not half. She doesn't understand how much money we have in the bank. I want her to know how much money you have in the bank so it doesn't come back on me. Here's how much you're actually entitled to. Here's what I want you to have. Now sign the fucking paper that says you'll never come after me again. And then she did. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, it does yeah. actually. Yeah. Checks out. But, that, but that's the she thing. When these, these, when these little Reddit sleuths take all of this stuff out of context, you know? They, they, you know, you can, you can isolate any of this one thing and make it sound like whatever. But that's the thing. It doesn't ever really bother me. And sometimes I kind of get off on it, honestly, like reading these subreddits and their crazy ideas. Sometimes it just is a form of self harm. And I'm like, man, this is fucking crazy. These people are crazy. It's fucking hilarious. But I know who I am. I have to go to sleep every day in my bed. I know what's in this brain. I know what I've done. Now, Boogie, was, I have you know, to I have to tell you, I have to let you know that uh, yeah. you signed an agreement coming on this, and we are billing you eighty dollars an hour uh, for therapy. Motherfuckers! <laughs> <laughs> I'm billing you eighty dollars a minute. Fuck you! Know, Fuck you. Minute. Oh, Fuck you. Better, I want to know how you better feel about help Franco, like being on the top of this whole referral thing, like. Honestly, don't know, man. I, I mean, honestly, if he, I don't know if he's got money in the company, that's fine. The company helped me. So again, like I said, if it doesn't turn out to be too terribly shady, I don't have a problem with it. But if it does turn out to be really shady, if he's earning 5% of what I'm earning or whatever, if he's getting five bucks for my 200 or 10 bucks for my 200, I don't care. No, that's fine. That's how this shit tends, tends to work, right? Somebody's, everybody's getting paid. Huh? Would you work with him again in the future if this turns out to be bad? Like, would you still clear of Red Rocket or whatever the fuck it is? I don't know uh, if they're open about it. No, um, I know the only thing I would the only thing I would be unhappy about here if it turns out to not be open. Like if there's something I needed to know, but moving on forward, I, I like I said, I don't normally ask questions like this, but I will for the next one. Garen, goddamn to it. Cool. Well, I think you won the room over, man. You I won me over. So. I, got, I, got yeah. tell you. I had to give him all the credit in the world. Man. It was a good the guess. Redemption arc. Yeah. I mean, look, yeah. I can't say you're about sorry, well, canceled, by the way. Well, my wife never <laughs> banged our gay black friend. Why do people think that my wife banged that gay black friend of mine? Like, I don't understand. They took a picture together, and that's enough for the internet. Exactly. I know yeah, it's so just... fucking sad. Like, like me and Danny were just friends, and we're hanging out, and like, oh, what? She's like some sort of, you know, I don't know. I've heard that's sad. It's hot. What are you talking about? Yeah, she's we're just friends. She's a cool. She's just a cute cosplay girl, and we met. Well, look, I mean, you did talk about exactly. you did talk about hiring yeah. hookers and stuff, right? Like, man. Did, didn't yeah, you but those are the jokes. Board? Obviously, those are jokes, right? Oh, I thought you. Well, Obviously, I know you were joking. Jokes. No, really? Uh, no, I'm not fucking. I'm not saying if, if you hire a hooker, <laughs> that's nothing. I didn't say there was anything wrong with it. I just. Uh, Leopage.com, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, don't, I get I, I, don't get me wrong. I know what back Andy, pages. Of course, are. knows the website. Uh, <laughs> that's what back I pages do. they remove those. I have a question. Oh, I heard about that. Trump, Trump, really... Trump is the only person that's allowed to fuck prostitutes. He took it away from the rest of us, right? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's, like, that's a good joke. Though. That's a good joke. All right, so the last one. Talk about the president that way. All right, so I have a question. Really old episode of the kill stream. So sure. we played a video by a man named El Presidor, uh, and I wanted to. Oh yeah, know, that guy fucking hates me, dude. He, he's fucking crazy. What about him? Did you and El Presidor like like did did something happen between you two, or, or was it just nope. random? That dude just hates fat people. That's it. And then like he, I engaged with him on Twitter a few times, and like fucking like yelled at him or whatever, uh, or like he yelled at me a bunch of times. Like I was at VidCon. And he's like, you fat fuck, look at your fucking scooter, you fat fuck, you're a fat fuck, you fat fuck. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, President. I, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, President. I was just hanging out with Hank Green and John Green here in my free hotel uh, within eye shot of Disney. Um, is there, are you having problems or something? You know, I'm getting paid to be here, right? So I don't know. He's like, yeah, you fat fuck, you shitty fat fuck, and you fat fuck. And I'm like, okay. Well, anyway, I'm just going to go um, have a free dinner. Uh, so goodbye. I was like, that was pretty do, much do my engagement. Do you still get shit after you lost your weight, by the way? Is, do you still get hate on Twitter? I get more hate. 
I get so much more hate. Oh, they are so fucking mad to see my fat ass lose weight. They are so mad to know that I am right. doing well. They're serious? so mad to know that I have money in the bank. They're so mad to know that my mental health is improving. They get so mad when they think I'm dating somebody. They get so mad. They get so fucking mad because they think I'm worse than them. They think I'm lesser than them. And if I'm doing better than them, then what the fuck does that say about them? It drives them fucking crazy, dude. You put a girl in the thumbnail, they lose their fucking minds. I show you that I've lost 350 pounds. They lose their fucking minds. I tell them I'm doing better with my mental health. They lose their fucking minds. I buy a box of magic cards. They lose their fucking minds. They, and the more weight I lose, the more pissed they get. They're so fucking mad. They're so mad. The majority How of dare him live longer? How dare card? him be healthier? How dare him be okay? Yeah, literally buy a box of magic cards. He's wasting a hundred dollars on that shit. Who I can't believe how much fucking money is. <laughs> you know like what I would do? Better help referral. Yeah. Do you know what I would do? <laughs> exactly, dude. No shit. <laughs> you know what I would do? Actually, actually, that's only half of a better help referral. <laughs> oh, you can double up on some magic yeah. the gathering cards now. Yeah. And, and 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 you know that's what I'm saying. They're like, I can't believe how much money he has. I deserve that money. I'm not fat. And yeah, dude. Go earn it then. Just go fucking. Oh, you don't earn it. You where were you when I was building this business for six years back from 2006 to 2012 before I got my first fucking YouTube paycheck, buddy? Trust so me, dude, I earned what's it. What's going on with your channel right now? Because I noticed your I, like. I thought it was this better help shit. I have a I have a, a YouTube rep that's telling me it's the algorithm, um, but I don't know. They're like, there's something going on to the algorithm of your channel. We're just not promoting you as much, and I'm like, I don't know why. Um, but I'm just bleeding subs. It happens every so often, but my biggest concern right now is I'm down to like 6 million views a month, which is, I'd normally be about twice this last year. I think it's a lot of the stupid mistakes I've made in the last year. Some of the shitty things I've done, the quality of my videos certainly haven't improved. It could be that I lost weight. It could be that I, you know, there's all these weird, crazy. Yeah, have you ever thought about that? Yeah. We talked about this on the show. I think maybe once or twice too, like that maybe, you know, getting skinny might, you know, it's counterintuitive a little bit. Oh, I think it might, might hurt you. Yeah. yeah they like, they want to see a, f a fat fucker on there, spurging out. And yeah. I, I think a lot of people hate watched me. And now yeah, that yeah. it's harder to hate me, they don't hate watch. Yeah, that is fine. curious. I don't want to probe too far, but have you, have you like financially prepared for like a, a dip in income? Well, the divorce didn't fucking help. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yes, after the divorce, uh, I've been earning quite a bit of money. But that's one of the reasons I really started hitting the brand management stuff. I'm like, all right, man, I got better start planning for a future. Now, do I have seven figures in the bank? Not even close. Not even fucking close after that divorce. Am I going to be okay? Dude, I used to live off of $700 a month. So if I have to go back to living off $700 a month for a while, I will be pretty fucking fine because I lived like a king. It felt like I lived like a king. You're talking to a guy who was homeless in this fucking city for six months. So having $700 to spend in a month, $1,000, $2,000 to spend in a month, great. I, I, I'm almost you know, paid I, off this house and I'll have this house to buy. I'll be able to sell the house if things get really thin. Um, I think I'll be okay. But yeah, buy, I really know why your channel is yeah. a little bit dim. I think it's yeah. because you're not covering you know, topics that people are interested in. Yeah. And that's a big part of it. I, I, I make what I'm interested in and hope people watch. I don't necessarily think, you know, cause I'm sure if I came in there and started talking about some of the stuff we talked about tonight, it's going to be controversial, but the views are going to be good, but I don't want to talk about that. I just want to talk about what I'm interested in. Well, um, I thank you for coming I on do. the kill stream and talking about it here, sir. All right, so be nicer to me, God damn it! I'll, I'll, I have, to, I'll have to be a little nicer now. We won't feel the yeah, same right. now. We'll, we'll, we'll take it out on the gypsy instead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> what no. I'm doing right now, Ralph? What I'm look, let me show you what I'm doing right now. I'm okay. going to fucking unmute the Ralph retort oh, right wow. now. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, don't oh, wow. okay. <laughs> is that shit? What is that shit? Like I'm talking people racist. just what? go ahead go to the chat. Think you're Boogie 1488 when you're here now. Yeah, that's such a I and, and there is I heard my like, you to your, your dude, manager I legit, to try and get I, affiliate information. I fucking legit petition to get same sex marriage in this fucking state on the ballot. I marched in fucking high school at gay pride parades as an unless they're interracial, and these, right? And these fucking <laughs> <laughs> hey, my my first girlfriend was African American, oh, man. God. I'm the one who got blacked, god damn it. <laughs> 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 
Well, and then that community, that community attacked me. I felt so fucking bad. I'm a fucking ally, guys. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm definitely not the guy. You guys, what do you want to fuck? Do you miss Neil Gaff? Okay, do you miss Neil Gaff? Because they were shitting on you like on a daily basis. Oh yeah, they still do. They still do. Yeah, if my name gets mentioned over there, people get banned for daring mention it. Yeah, it's fucking hilarious. I love this fucking gaming community. Uh, the, well, I, I have so many fucking gaming news reporters who've blocked me at this point that I can't even fucking read their shit. It's funny. Mm -hmm. I literally can't read the bullshit that they're putting up. Right, which is fine because it's bullshit. But here's the thing. Even at 6 million, because they don't agree with my politics because I'm not SJW enough. But here's the fucking thing. Even with my lowly 6 million views on YouTube a month, I'm still getting more fucking page views than a lot of these fucking authors. So they can block me all they fucking want. I still have 10 times the power of these little shits. Dude. You got so a red rover, Boogie. It's brighter. It's greener over here. Ah, uh, fuck, man. I, but that, that, that's the thing. I don't always agree with you guys. I'm not going to say what I don't believe in. I'm going to do what I believe in, man. No, you don't have to. Yeah. We just we just like open honest talk. That's the fun exactly. part. Yeah. That's that's yeah. all well, I do for. too, and that's why I tune in every once in a while. And then I tune in and you play this fucking sound effect. And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> and then I have to tune out. Stop doing that well, shit, hey, motherfucker. Boogie, now we now have a whole new is. plethora of, of sound effects now. So <laughs> next time you tune in, we'll we'll have some updated. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Goodbye. Thank Goodbye. you, sir. Later, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me, guys. Thanks, Bye. man. Appreciate it. Take it easy. Wow. Fuck you. Close. Fucking Discord! Holy you, shit! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got you! I got you! I got you! There you go! There you go! Okay, since Keemstar is here, I have a burning question. I think at the end of your video, you mentioned that uh, a couple of people were doing digging into this better help stuff. Do you have any uh, any names to drop regarding the, the the sources? Yeah, I think they're in here. Um, Andy is working on something and, uh, meme is still working on that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I guess. Andy, yeah, I am. Andy, Andy, Andy. It's unfolding slowly. Yes. It's unfolding slowly. Uh, I think the video I posted today was just the start, uh, of, of what's to come. Cause there's, a, there's a few other emails, a few other things I want to check out on Skype too. Well, so. hey, Andy, I hate to interrupt you. But I, have to, uh, I have to ask a burning question here. Uh, the, what was it like getting fucked by an obese man on a live stream in front of 6,000 people? Is your answer yeah, right now? I, I have an answer for that. Let That's the person sad. who never shot on Boogie cast the first stone. Oh, no. I, I, hey, I've, I've, taken, I've taken plenty of shots, but I didn't get forcefully fucked in front of the audience tonight like you did, Jam. Well, I, I will be honest. You I, I, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You know, v, I like how you were like, oh, I got... Are you trying to kill yourself fucking... Asshole! I'm like, whoa, V, calm down, dude. What? I, <laughs> I mean, V, that. That you were mad at him that he tried oh, killing oh, himself. I, mean, I, I, really I didn't bad. say that. Hold on, right? First of all, I generally feel bad about it. Like this, this is why I came here. I wanted to uh, sort things over to see if I was right or not. Um, and secondly, I didn't say that, Andy. Okay, I fucking exaggerated. Calm down, dude. Relax. He has trouble with hyperbole. That was the whole yeah, point. <laughs> 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 now, if he ever acts up, we just gotta say we'll bring Boogie back. We'll get we'll get Boogie back. <laughs> Better get right. Dude, the best is when Boogie wouldn't accept V's apology. That, that was, was fucking. Like, <laughs> <that's sorry. laughs> Then Molly's just like, yeah, yeah, I accept it, I accept it, and just like dismissed. He it. cut that's him right. off. He cut yeah, him off. He, say he uh, whatever. Yeah. Well, I, I genuinely felt bad though, and um, I. Yeah, I deleted the videos I made way back then. So you know, I gotta say, Keemstar he co-signed Boogie a long time ago. I think I think it was maybe on this stream. He's like, no, nah, I like Boogie. He's always been always been funny and cool with me. I mean, he kind of he kind of proved this tonight. I have to I have to eat a lot of my words. So yeah, I realized that he was completely different than he put on when he started talking about the AI. Like the the way he spoke, yeah. the the tone of his voice, it was way different than anything I've ever heard come out of him. Yeah, Boogie being real. Um, Boogie is the best. like you know, I've talked to him privately a bunch, and he's also been on my podcast, uh, Bait It, and you know he goes into detail, you know, on that when we had him on of basically just saying that like on his YouTube channel he wants to be the best him, you know, but that's not who he is. Yeah. Well, he talks so frequently about his depression and stuff, and I I don't know. It seems like if you want to attract more more viewers, you should probably stray away from that a little bit. Yeah, because the best tip is just being to talk about depression and his weight and all this stuff and yeah. video games, of course. But here, it seems like he was having a fucking blast here. 
You know, yeah, he's he, he start calling people out. Yeah, I yeah, like, yeah. I like that. He was, was pretty. Oh, good. dude, I actually like. I never hated him ever, but like, like today, I was like, "Whoa, this guy's actually pretty cool." You know what I mean? I'd love to see a video like this. You know, I want to see what he would do here, but if it oh, doesn't make him happy, he should make a video on V. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, how how punished are you going to be when the Don hears about this, V? Uh-oh. You've let down the family. <laughs> how are you going to live with this? You know, like, the thing is, the Don actually likes Boogie, so um, I, 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 yeah, I might be very yeah, punished. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's we'll going to lock you in a room. You're going to turn around. There's going to be, like, 10,000 donuts there, and he's going to say, you're going to eat all of this. You're going to gain the weight that he took off. You're going mm-hmm. you're gonna to take his place. If I if I don't make videos for a week, you need to call the cops. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody get the cement shoes. Well, uh, what I, happened with that? Did Sargon get a bunch of bad press or what? What what happened? Yeah, I got so, anything lot. The whole um, regarding his Apple's B suit. What do you think we're talking about? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I thought you photoshopped that on your thumbnail, by the way. I was like, oh, look at this Photoshop. And I'm like, oh, wait, it's a real picture. Yeah, it's a real picture. <laughs> yeah. Ralph, what is going on with your shows, man? I don't Holy, know, this, man. This it's, week has been something else, man. It's only Wednesday. And I guess, you know, we had the weekend heel stream, too. Keem, I noticed I saw your tweet. You said, uh, I tuned in at 730. What were those outrageous things that were being said? I, we were trying to figure out. There were so many outrageous things being said on the stream that we couldn't figure out. What what it was you were referring to exactly? Sure has to keep things kosher. Come on. No, man. I mean I completely understand. I wasn't mad about it, but I was just wondering, like, what was it the Holocaust debate that oh, we had going oh. on? Or was, it? was it the cowboy thing? I, I tuned in probably about ten thirty, or no, it was like right before. Yeah, it was ten thirty because you were ending at eleven. Yeah, and uh, you know there was some uh, gassing of the you know oh, whatever. Yes, yes. Like that being said, and I was like, ah, uh, yeah, yeah gonna, probably best to sit this one out. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we wasted by that time. We're not even. Well, Keemstar, would you say this? The conversation struck you as being very sumptuous because Ralph uh, was telling everybody that, yeah. <laughs> that it was quite the sumptuous conversation that he was having. <laughs> I was there for only ten seconds. Heard that. And- <laughs> <laughs> It, it took that motherfucker 10 seconds to close out like no nope, nope, that ain't happening oh, yeah it's been a crazy week i guess yeah, pretty bad when we were uh watching boogie stream as well but you know yeah. towards the end i was just too compelled i had to come in and say hi <laughs> we appreciate it. by the way i appreciate That's everybody chosen. coming on it's been a crazy week you never know what's gonna happen Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks for thanks for having me on, man. I'm gonna I'm Thank gonna you. bounce. It was. Uh, I, I have one uh, question before you leave, by the way, uh, and it's for Andy as well. Uh, y- you guys were at the forefront of the uh, Hasbro pedophile scandal. Do you generally think that Boogie's right and they didn't do it? Uh, what I think is it was funny coming up with the Adam uh, race Worski thing, and we had a good time that night, and the uh, quartering got to say what he thought was going on, and that's that's about what I thought of it. I thought he he should get his chance to say what he thinks, and uh, you know we had we had a couple of laughs about it. That's kind of what the internet's for is having a few laughs, unless you're dealing with a bunch oh. of fucking furries that are raping puppies, in which case you need to exterminate them. But that's a different fucking conversation, isn't it? <laughs> or if you're trying to get your career off by advertising some affiliate shit, then you're gonna get fucked. You're not gonna be laughing about that shit. No, Guys, I gotta I gotta go real yep. quick because I gotta talk to someone. Uh, Pretty important here, uh, but listen, um, Jim, are you making a video on this better help stuff? Because I really want to see a video from you on that subject. I, I'm considering it, but I mean, like Mamology is doing, like his videos are fucking amazing. Like, have you seen the, the shit he's put out? It's fucking incredible. They have been good, yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, the problem is, is, there's no like the way he does his videos. There's no commentary, right? It's not like it's not my style of, of video. Well, if you want, I can link you some. I, I've been looking into the companies and stuff, and if you want to do a video, I can link you some stuff that I put together, and it might be informative. Okay, you DM me. Thanks, guys. See ya. All right. Yep. Thank Take you it easy, man. Peace out, everybody. Appreciate you guys coming along. You see you, Ralph. Peace out, man. Later. Everyone, have Peace a nice out, night. Guys. Later. Have a good one, man. All right.